The end of the lobster season is quickly approaching and it's now time to make sure that we have some lobster um, preserved for the winter. So what I'm going to be showing you today is uh, how I go about preserving lobster. You may have watched some other vlogs of mine where I have been talking about different kinds of foods that you can safely pressure can and some that you can't can. And So if you haven't watched those vlogs, something that I will start by telling you is that the only way to safely preserve your lobster is by freezing it. You can't water bath can lobster, you cannot pressure can lobster. They're, they still haven't come up with a way to safely preserve lobster uh, in, by the canning process. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, and actually, even before I knew that canning lobster was unsafe, this was our preferred method of preserving lobster because we find that uh, preserving our lobster this way is how we actually get the best tasting lobster. So trust me, bear with me. So I'm going to show you how we do our lobster here. And, um, and remember, uh, when I, you've heard me say this a few times, when you know better, you do better. So um, if you're still pressure canning your lobster to preserve it, maybe you should start taking a look at different met methods of preserving your lobster. The way that I preserve it is in bottles with a salt solution, but there's also, you can also preserve it um, using um, uh, airtight bags, like vacuum sealed bags with nothing in it, just your lobster in those vacuum sealed bags and that's another way as well that you can preserve it. In bottles with a salt solution is the our preferred method of um, preserving our lobster. The way I bottle my lobster is I divide my lobster by the claws, the knuckles and the tails. My tails have been rinsed under water just to remove any kind of residue that would be left. How do I pack my lobster in these bottles? These are 250 milliliter size bottles, so um, half pints. I know I, I can fit about two and a half lobsters in here, so I'll put two tails and a half of a tail that I've broken in half and one of the back parts. Five of the claws, because I'm putting two and a half lobsters in here. And a little bit of the broken lobster on the top of the bottle. You do not want to overfill your bottles because you, if you put too much lobster, once you put your salt solution in and you freeze it, two things can happen. Either this is gonna expand and break your bottle or you won't be able to put your covers on properly and I'm going to show you how we do it. This salt solution is, I have about two cups of water here and I put about half a tablespoon of salt. If you've ever had bad lobster, I can pretty much guarantee you, like bad tasting lobster I should say, I can pretty much guarantee you that the reason for that is because there wasn't enough salt. For the lobster to be good you really need to add the salt and you probably if you watched the vlog on how I cook it as you can see depending on the size of the pot that we used um, we put a good cup or a cup and a half of salt for each batch of lobster that we cook somewhere around 25 pieces of lobster let's say so in this two cup two cups of water I have about half a piece half a tablespoon of salt and you can taste it if you know it's it, I, that's how I determine how much salt I put in the water is that I taste it to see if it if it tastes briny enough salty enough so what you do is you just put your water inside your salt solution inside your bottle and I don't overfill it and I don't fill it up to the top at this point and I remove the air bubbles to make sure that this salt solution goes all the way down the bottom of the bottle. And as you can see, I haven't filled my bottle up to the top. And this is exactly how I'm going to freeze my bottle. No cover, not filled up to the top, but I'm not going to leave it like that for very long. So I, I, I put them in the freezer exactly like this until they're frozen. And by the power of uh, video magic, I have an entire case of frozen lobster. Just kidding. 
These are some that I did last night. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like once it's frozen. So these bottles were filled to about, this one's the one that I just did, to about the same place as this bottle here, so the bottom of the ring. And if you look, this one's pretty close to me to not being able to put the cover on. So this is why I don't fill them past this bottom rim. And what I do after they, they're, they're thoroughly frozen is I'm going to take my salt solution and now fill my bottles. And this prevents them from, from breaking um, from, because they, they would expand or... So I just take my salt solution after they're frozen, fill them up to the top to try to cover the lobster. And now I put my caps on. The salt that you use in this solution doesn't have to be pickling salt or sea salt. You can use your regular table salt because we're not processing them, we're not canning them, we're freezing them. So you can use whatever salt you want. Same thing for the caps. It's for jobs like this that I save my caps, I wash them, and I use them if I'm freezing because I don't need these to seal. So these are caps that I've used for, used for different things. I've got, what was in this one? I can't even read what was on there. There's years on some of them. There's 2014 pizza sauce one year. So I save these caps for these occasions. Once I've got all the caps on, and the rings, of course, don't put your rings on too tight. If you decide that you're gonna skip this extra step and just fill them up right away, don't put your rings on too tight so it will give it some room to expand if needed. To make this entire case of 250 milliliter bottles or half pints, I used approximately um, 30 uh, canner size lobsters and maybe not everybody knows what canner size lobsters are but here on the east coast um, the fishermen fish two different size lobsters so they have canner size and they have market size. So now these are going back in the freezer to enjoy this winter. Usually around a year is how long you would keep uh, something uh, preserved whether you're canning it or freezing it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, two, uh, two, this two-part series on uh, how to cook, shell, and uh, preserve your lobster. If you did, check out my other vlogs. I have some other content out there as well. Um, if you like the channel, subscribe. Feel free to share it. Feel free to leave me comments in the comment section. I will gladly respond. If you'd like to see me try to can something or preserve something, let me know. And we'll talk again soon.